What's going on guys? John here from John's Fishing Channel. Thanks for tuning in. Out on the lake today enjoying a nice northern Wisconsin summer day. Today I'm going to be uh, kind of jigging along some deep water weed lines with a minnow trying to catch some fish that are just kind of suspended on the weeds right now because I haven't had too much luck up in the shallows. But just gonna, I've been catching a lot of really small fish. Uh, we're trying to catch largemouth bass today and like I said they've been suspended on weed beds in 20, 25 feet of water. So we're fishing some really, really deep stuff today. I'm going to show you guys how I jig a minnow to catch fish on deep lake weed beds. So sit back and enjoy the video. Alrighty, so how I like to jig with minnows is I've got my seven foot, one inch GLX uh, rod here from G Loomis, really, really nice. And I'm also using my Shimano 3000 FG, which is just a fantastic, fantastic reel, by the way. And I've also got just a small little black jig here. It also has a little weed guard on it. Like I said, we're going to be fishing some weed beds, but until we start actually drifting over them, uh, we're going to have it kind of pointed up towards the hook. There's actually some fish on the bottom of the lake right now, so you're also going to need minnows. I'm using crappie minnows today because they're small. Uh, a variety of fish can actually eat them and you basically you just kind of want to hook them um, right through the nose area and make sure you get a little bit of meat there put them on your hook uh, just like this so you can kind of jig it along and what we're gonna do is just kind of bump this along the bottom next to the weeds and hopefully we'll pick up a fish or two like I said I've got a Hummingbird 678 CHD. It has sonar and down imaging, which is really handy because it actually allows me to find the fish on the bottom of the lake. As you can see, I actually, I just floated over a school of fish and I've hooked my first fish of the day. I'm gonna turn my drag down. I want him to be able to pull out just a little bit of drag. I'm not gonna horse them in. I don't wanna break any fish off today. Like I said, I'm fishing for largemouth bass in kind of deep water. I caught this one in uh, 15 feet of water. Pretty decent little fish here. We'll go ahead and get him in the boat. Oh man, one followed him right up to the to the uh, boat there. That was really cool. And of course, he's gonna get my minnow. I've also got worms. Um, if I run out of minnows, I'll use worms. This is a great way to catch a whole variety of fish, including bass, walleye, northern. Uh, jigging with a minnow is one of my favorite ways to fish. So we're just gonna go ahead and lay in do them today. We're gonna be drifting in the wind today, and we're just gonna kind of drift along the shore here. There's a nice deep pocket of water coming up and I think we're gonna drift through a lot of fish. So I'm gonna put another minnow on, drop my line back down, and catch another fish. Again, we're floating over another school of bass. I saw a gigantic school of bass. I could actually count like 50 fish in it. Um, so there we go, we got another one on. Uh, I know we're gonna catch a lot of fish today, jigging with minnows. Oh yeah, he's coming up. He's a healthy fish. Woo! And I really like this GLX rod from G Loomis. It's, a, it's an amazing piece of equipment. I think it was about 375 bucks comes with a lifetime warranty of course oh yeah he didn't get my minnow so I get to use that again awesome and uh, I think the Shimano reel came with a pretty solid warranty too fish an eight pound test on this which is perfect for these size of bass you know if you get into a really large big fish you'll be able to get him back to the boat without fear of losing him and this rod is totally big enough um, to handle anything that we're gonna catch today Got a couple more fish on the bottom coming up here and the way I'm reading the fish finder today too, I hope you can see that on camera. I get a fish on. Is we're using the down imaging and what'll happen is you'll see some fish like right there, right under the temp water temperature gauge is actually a fish, there's one on the bottom. Uh, but whole schools of fish will swim through and you'll see them on your fish finder so you know they're down there. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually just switch over to a view that I like a little bit more. You can see a little bit more uh, activity down there with this style graph and here you can see there's just a couple fish right there at about five feet down and the water temperature is 69.7 degrees almost 70 degrees it's warm enough for the bass to be active and if it heats up to about 70 degrees 71 degrees like it was the last few days and drops down to 64 65 that will really turn the fishing off uh, it'll kind of send them into a vegetative state where they don't really feed much. They're not willing to chase down bait and suck it in. And then they wait till it gets hot again and then they get real active. And you catch a lot more fish during those periods. But, you know, uh, getting them on the bottom here is a great alternative to fishing them in the shallows. As these bass are schooling up, you can see right there, there's a big school of bass. Uh, they're schooling up, they're cruising around the lake looking for food. Right, another bass. Healthy looking fish. 
So I stopped on a 15 foot weed line here. I found a lot of fish just kind of stacked up in here. Got a pretty decent one uh, that didn't actually record it. It's pretty windy out, so hopefully this works, but there are definitely fish down there and they have a decent size to them. So we'll go ahead and try to get a couple in the boat here before we wrap up the day. Fish on. Flipper, as his friends like to call him. He's always flipping and flopping through the air. Because he's flipper. Flip, flip, flipper. And uh, just a nice, healthy fish. Let's see what this here. Go ahead and let him go. Throw on another minnow here, drop it back down. And like I said, there's a nice school of them down there right now. So uh, we will try to target the big ones. Okay, well, I kind of drifted off my point, so I reset. I'm a little bit farther out from shore this time, kind of on the deeper end of the drop off, but we're still in 15 to 13 feet of water. And hopefully we'll find another fish down here. I can actually cast out into about 20 feet of water, let my jig sink down and I'll slowly retrieve it into shallower water. You know, once you catch three or four fish in a school, the school tends to move off a little bit, so it'll go in either direction, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 feet. It might swim to the other side of the lake, it might come back. Uh, but you kind of want to fish all over the place when you're out fishing spots like this because they could move, and it looks like now they've moved to the back of the boat, kind of in a little bit deeper water. So, uh, this one's not too big, but it is a fish. It's got a whole lot of spirit. Thanks for getting caught. And that was just a nice little largemouth. So we're gonna keep casting out into deeper water and bringing it back to the shallow point. I'm kind of on a, a big ledge right here all the way around the boat. So it drops off, it gets really deep right there, then it comes back up and it's shallower right where I am. The fish love to sit on these drops. Got another fish on. This one's about the same size. Can't complain though. Again, we're just going to cast it back to where we caught the last one because I know that there's more than likely five or six fish just kind of sitting there conjugated up and we'll be able to catch them all. The dragonflies are out eating mosquitoes. I always appreciate that. A couple fish just showed up right on the bottom under the boat back here behind the transducer. That's where the fish finder uh, little probe is. So I'm going to drop it down there and catch one of them. Hopefully we get the other two, but I saw three distinct fish marks on the bottom. And I love that, having a fish finder. You're able to target these fish, see them on the fish finder, and then drop uh, your bait right down to them. And for the most of the time, and if they're biting, you'll catch them. Put another little one, and we put it right back down there and try to catch the couple other fish we saw with that one. And there's one right there. It's a fool's paradise, my friend. All right, just a little one. But if we can keep see, finding these schools of fish here on the weed line, sooner or later we'll run into a big school and start catching bigger fish. And by big school, I mean big school, uh, a school of big fish, not just a large number of fish. Come here, little minnow. These guys are slippery. And these guys are sitting right in 15 feet of water. There's another one down there. That's a Looks like a nice one on the fish finder. A little bigger. I don't know how many casts in a row that is I caught fish. But he's got a lot of spirit. Nice little, oh no, that minnow's trying to make a break for it. He got thrown off the hook and it's still alive. He's gonna get eaten. And again, throw another minnow on your jig. Drop it right back down to the bottom where we caught those ones. And if we stop catching them consistently, time after time after time, we'll probably relocate. But until they stop biting down there and this school moves on, I'll just keep catching them. Trying to find the big one. Bam! This one's a little bigger. Not too bad though. This is how you jig for bass in deep weed lines on lakes. Target largemouth bass in different areas of the lake. They're currently sitting 15 feet of water. Right on top of that weed line near the, uh, the bottom. So every time that I throw this jig out, I let it sink down to the bottom. And that's usually where it gets picked up. All right, we got the minnow thief. He's on the line. Gonna get him in the boat. He's keeping his head down. 
Oh, nice little bass there. Try to get him in the boat. You know, and I'm not really horsing these fish in too hard. I'm just kind of slowly reeling them in and uh, getting them in the boat. Oh, that's, a, that's probably about the, one of the bigger ones that we've caught all day. Nice fish. Get a picture with him. Let him go. Well, thanks for tuning in to this episode of John's Fishing Channel, Jigging with Minnows. I hope you guys saw a lot of action today. We caught a lot of bass on those deep uh, weed lines. Just to recap what we did, we kind of got in the wind, drifted across the lake, jigging some deep uh, holes and ledges and drop-offs right where some weeds are. And when we came across some fish, we dropped the anchor and we put our minnow on our jig and we jigged it off the bottom a little bit and pulled up a lot of fish. It was a lot of fun. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for more fishing and I'll catch up with you guys next time.